their best to the essay paper, but ultimately when the results come, they are extremely disappointed because they write what they know, but not what is expected from them. Today we are going to discuss 10 important tips and tricks. If you are implementing these tricks, your essay is going to be amazing and obviously going to stand out from the rest of the others. Though I am making this video for civil service preparation, these equations hold true for all kinds of students, irrespective of their age. Hence, without wasting any time, let's check out those tips and tricks. Hence, let's start. The first important point is that we should never overdone constitutional values. You should always uphold the constitutional values. Because as a citizen of our country, it is your fundamental duty to respect the constitution. And if you are going to be a civil servant, your answer should reflect a democratic attitude. Hence, whenever you are proposing any solution in your essay, it should promote the democracy, sovereignty, uh, security and integrity of the nation, secularism. All these concepts have to be respected in your essay. We you should never appreciate any wrongdoings which are universally accepted as wrong. Means, suppose if you give bribe, one important work is going to be finished very early. Hence, you should never propose a solution in your essay that taking bribe is good. Because taking bribe is a universally wrong concept. Second example is that custodial torture. Suppose there is a case study where a person is suspected to be a terrorist. You cannot propose a solution in your essay that we should torture him so that we can extract truth from him. Because after all, he is only under suspicion. He is having his own human rights. If you are using any complex word, you should first define it. Because you may know it, but the examiner may not know it. Suppose you, are, you belong to sociology background and you want to use the word Sanskritization, Westernization. Those words first be defined. You should first define those words. Then you should explain what is the importance of it, whether we should accept that or whatever you want to put forward. Which brings us to the fourth important point. You should always keep sentences crisp and powerful. Please don't write very long complex sentences. One fundamental rule we should follow that we should never write a sentence so that the examiner has to read it back. He should always go forward, never should go backward. Always write small sentences crisp but the meaning should be absolutely clear. Don't take extreme positions. Follow a middle path. Be balanced in your answer. Suppose India is suffering from security issues from Pakistan. We should never say that right now India should declare war on Pakistan or we should never also say that we should be a silent spectator. There should be a middle path where the security of our nation should not be compromised and we should also take concrete steps against any country who is affecting our sovereignty. You should always have some collection of important quotes, stories to substantiate the essays. That's why apart from reading some textbooks, you should also read some extra books so that you get some extra material for your essays. You should always collect quotes regarding youth, democracy, women empowerment, health, technology or some abstract concepts also like justice, happiness, quotations on these topics are essential to get good marks. Also, you should have some good stories. Suppose you want to focus on failure and then success. You should take the example of Abraham Lincoln. Or you want to talk about women empowerment. Then you should know about the Nirja Air Hostess or Mother Teresa. You should have some stories and quotations in your hand so that you can substantiate your point. You should be absolutely multidimensional. You should not keep on writing your answer on one dimension. You should also talk about the political aspect, social aspect, technological aspect, economical aspect. Example, if a essay is there, if an essay is there on malnutrition, then you should not focus only on the undernutrition. You should not forget that obesity is also a part of malnutrition. You should never censure government very heavily. Okay, there may be some mistakes you want to point out, then that has to be represented in a very delicate manner. And you should never do name calling. Mr. XYZ did this, Mr. PQR did this. You should never say that. And you should never become very much personal also. Your personal bias should not be reflected in this essays. You should not mention only problems. You should also provide optimistic solutions. Okay. If the solution is not in your hand, at least you can write 
what are the possible committees established to provide the solutions let us take an example suppose there is a problem existing about uniform civil code which could not have been implemented till now even if you don't give the solution at least you can say that law commission of india was established to look into this matter and these are the solutions provided by law commission of india and 10th most important point is that manage your time very judiciously if you are writing multiple essays in your answer paper, don't devote more time to the first essay and start scribbling the next one. And at the last, you should also devote certain amount of time to revise and rectify. Maybe some grammar mistake, grammatical mistake might have occurred. I hope these tips and tricks are going to help you to write amazing essays. If you have some other points, please drop in the comment section and also drop on what topic you want me to make video. I am Umkar signing out. Till we meet next time. Bye-bye.